different things they're able to do. It's, it's impressive. Yes, I can. And I just want the big photo. I'm nice smile. <laughs> you go with that. Thanks. We'll tag you. All right, cool. Thank you. Does it feel different for you this year? Kind of going into last year, you played, but not a ton. Last year, you were a star. Team, you were a star. Is it, how, how does it feel different this spring and summer, knowing that you're coming in, knowing you're going to play, knowing you have high expectations? Yeah. It just, it just encouraged me to work harder. I mean, I, didn't, I never want to get too complacent, and uh, that's why I picked my one word edge for this season, for, for this whole year, basically. Just having that extra chip on my shoulder and something to prove and being able to attack everything with a little edge and a little, little uh, tenacity to really, to really go with it. The last one for me, what, what does Coach Allen say to you specifically in the leadership aspect that he wants out of you because he's more like a veteran defense? Yeah, so naturally, I'm just more of an introverted type of guy. And so last year after Cam Jones went out with an injury, I was, I was uh, that guy who had to step up and be a more vocal leader and so that's something he's been challenging me to do. My position coach, Coach Chad Will, has been challenging me to do and be the alpha, be that guy on the defense who can take command and uh, really lead. Time here. Aaron, now that you're kind of, I mean, that linebacker room had Desan, it had Cam Jones, and now all those guys are gone. You're the bona fide guy on the team. What does that mean to you, and what do you want your legacy to be on this year's team? Man, it means a lot to me. Just being, the, being able to trust the process to work my way up and knowing that it's something that I've earned, earned the, uh, earned the ability to be able to lead the team, lead Indiana, you know, Indiana defense. It just, it just means a whole lot. But the last couple of years, when you guys had the better records in the Big Ten, defense was the kind of the reason that pushed the team forward. How can we get back there um, for this year? Yeah, so it was all about our preparation, and I feel like this summer we've been doing a lot of preparation, a lot of uh, shared adversity, going through different situations to to get more connected, but to build our relationships with each other, and to, uh, to trust the guy to your left and to your right. And so just doing that, excuse me, I believe is uh, what, we're, what, is, what will get us back there. Anything specific in the offseason that you guys kind of did, maybe off the field, that brought you guys closer together? Yeah, just recently we did this uh, shared adversity activity called the program. It's pretty much Navy SEALs that come in, it's uh, like, kind of like military training. You go through different, uh, different activities. Different, they call them missions. Different missions to complete. Uh, there's a leader, and the leader had to help the team find a solution to the problem and overcome it. We actually got into the uh, IU pool and did a pool activity, and guys were helping each other out swimming and cross. You know, not everybody can swim on the team, and so that was it was fun, but it was also serious, and guys really enjoyed that. Swimming's no joke. That it, it is hard. I'm sure that was uh, interesting. Na Navy SEALs, you said, Navy came SEALs. in. Maybe That's, yep. that, that'll teach you toughness, definitely, for sure, for that. Definitely. Last one for me, number 44 again this year, second time in a row. What, what does that honor mean to you? Man, it means a lot. I've been hearing about George Talaferro since I stepped foot on IU's campus, and just knowing the legacy that he, he left here and knowing the things he overcame really, like, motivated me to, to do the same things he did and just having them see those same characteristic traits in me, uh, it's just a blessing. That's all. Awesome. Thank you. You mentioned uh, toughness. It seems to be the key. I know Coach has mentioned toughness, 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 getting this team tougher. How important is that going into this new season for this football team? Yeah, for this football team, I believe toughness, toughness is our, our whole mindset, with the whole, uh, whole team, really. So guys are looking at it, ready to attack it, and ready to attack every situation with toughness and grit and being able to overcome tough situations. So I believe toughness is what will lead us to a great season. Now what else did you take from the adversity from a year ago? I mean, it was a great start, you had those three yeah. wins, and then it, 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 it kind of got away from you. What, what, what can you learn from a season like that? Yeah, just having a season like that, looking back and reflecting, is building on the positives, positive things that we did last year, but also develop, developing the negative things that uh, kind of didn't lead to um, our success uh, last year. So just building, building off the things that we did coming together as a team to, to make things better. What would you tell Hoosier fans that are kind of wary right now? They don't know what to expect of this football team, not quite sure who the quarterback's going to be. Why should they watch you guys this year? They should watch us because Indiana University has been, or the football team has been giving everything they had all summer long. They've been putting in the time, the dedication to work and to come here and learn and grow to make this a good team. Last